Hello, and can you tell me your name please? Hello, yes, my name is Angus. Okay, and where am I you from? I live uh, near Martin. Oh, lovely in the country. Yes, and right in the countryside. And what did you do before you worked for Crop? Uh, I spent a number of years um, on the, what I call the peripherals of the music business. Uh, but essentially I'm a, a self-employed management accountant. And uh, that is going to be my main uh, livelihood. And does that help you when volunteering for crop? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> so you could be anybody, but helping at crop is, is what it's all about, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Now, have there been many cases over the years where you've gone in and thought, you know, I can't do this, or has it always been a case of sort of Well, like some that? of them have been big challenges. Um, most of my um, visits sort of fill in forms, which um, are obviously challenging to some of our clients, which is why they call us in. Uh, but uh, to me, and I think the other volunteers, uh, once you got used to doing them, uh, they're fairly straightforward. But yes, I've had a number of other cases uh, which have um, concerned me a bit. Um, I can tell you about one if you like. Yeah, go on, if you tell uh, us. Very early days, one of the first couple of dozen clients I saw nearly two years ago now. Um, a young uh, a man who was, I think, only about 55 or so, so in the lower end of our uh, age bracket. Um, he um, lived in his own house um, near Hawkehurst, nice little cottage, really, country cottage. However, he'd had um, fallen on bad times, we say, as much as he'd, uh, his wife had left him with his son. Um, he got in such a state mentally that he couldn't work. Uh, his house was in the most appalling condition. He showed me the mice running around and everything. Anyway, to cut a long story short, um, with the help of um, other area of social service and mental health um, people, um, we helped him sort his life out. Um, for example, when I first saw him, he got about 30 letters he hadn't opened, some of which were chasing debts. Anyway, we sorted him out, I think, uh, and about a year ago, um, he rang us to say he sold his house. Um, for a very nice uh, six-figure sum, I think it was, and he'd gone off um, to start a whole new life. Um, and it's cases like those that I uh, find particularly rewarding. So what is CROP really? Can you tell me about CROP? CROP uh, has been going, I think, for about uh, 15 to 18 years now. It stands for Citizens' Rights for Older People. And we basically go out and help people uh, 55, 50 years or so older, older who may need help with um, form filling, um, letter writing, uh, problems with the council, um, increasingly unfortunately uh, problems with neighbours and uh, we also write letters for them if they need help with that. Um, we help them get on um, housing lists if that is required. We have quite a wide uh, remit actually. And you find it mentally and emotionally rewarding? Presumably. Very, yes. Um, emotionally is is a word I think I would use um, because it's so nice to see people that are often a bit stressed and um, tearful sometimes and terribly worried when you go and help them. Um, but we normally manage to put them at their ease and so when you leave, if we simply just fill in a form or something, which to us is fairly routine, um, you know, they seem to be so relieved that yes, you go away thinking um, that, that was rewarding, but it is emotionally, um, uh, emotionally formula sometimes because some of these ladies and gentlemen live on their own. They've got often multiple health issues, and um, to be honest, um, in my old life, as it were, and I'm quite happy to admit this, I probably would never have come across some of these people because they live in obviously unfortunate circumstances sometimes. So yes, I find it extremely rewarding, and and I use the word enjoyable. That's good. And um, is there any particular age group that uh, you have to be to, to actually get volunteer for crop? Or is it no, volunteers can be any age. Um, we've got one or two um, younger people. I think we've got one uh, lady who's, uh, I think she's doing an open university or a PhD or something. The majority of our, our um, volunteers do tend to be retired people um, who have the time to go out. Um, but we do have um, people of all ages uh, and backgrounds. Now, how far does crop reach? Crop reaches all over Kent except um, the 
medway area, which is a, which is a different unit tree, I think it's the word authority. Um, so basically we do cover the whole of Kent, um, apart from that, where we supposedly cover Dartford and Gravesend, but unfortunately we have difficulty getting uh, volunteers at the moment, so we desperately have volunteers in that area. Thank you so much for your time today, it's been very kind. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure.